Fabs, for the first time, like, ever, I don't even know how to start this stream properly so it sounds at least somewhat professional in here. Hi guys. Fabs, I think everyone is gonna unfollow the channel after, after seeing uh, this here. Everyone out there, welcome to Wix Arena on the mic today. You see it here next to me. It is my boy Balts for the first time. <laughs> Balts, what's poppin', brother? Back everyone, home from, from back. Angola, you know. Oh. Amazing. Wow. That guy's happy for this. What did we do in our past life that led us to this moment? Fabs, how do we deserve that? The, the problem is... This community, they have our back like every single day, right? They do so much for us. So the only thing we can do in return is hopefully make everyone's face laugh a little bit. Make your day a little bit better with yeah, the most unprofessional MK1 event out there on planet Earth. I personally still hope that NRS is not watching today's stream. Because please, please, if one. they even closely consider putting one of us on the mic for a professional, you know, pro competition event, Fabs. If they're seeing this, our entire career is cooked. Over. <laughs> it is over, but luckily, we have the best community here with us every single day. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in. We have returned with a banger lineup. Not only two phenomenal, you know, hairstyles here on stream today, but today's stream is actually going to be very, very interesting to watch. Perhaps. We have four sets in total, week number five of our qualifier series, and some very, very interesting showdowns. We have to talk about them because the boy, you saw it, Fabs. Mm. Boki is back. Boki, the go the Lao goat. I love this. Also against Anna's, which is like one of the, probably the best Havoc in Europe. Oh, yeah. uh, that like, he literally always consistently shows up in like tournaments and goes crazy. That's going to be sweaty oh, as the hell. This is a good one. I mean, and this is only the star chat, you know? That, that's how we roll tonight. Fabs and I, we are comfortable here because next match to be exact match number two Ooh. is gonna be a, li <laughs> a little beef set and i'm not no. gonna talk about the community going crazy perhaps because we look you know like we look oh man <laughs> you guys you out there gifted, Lady Elba, thank you. you better stop subscribing gifting subs today not <laughs> when we're looking like that thank you guys so much for the support but perhaps we have the beef set in the Ooh. arena today, all eyes on Linkway and Rotha. Linkway, in their last showdown here in our league event, was able or managed to beat maybe the best Quan Chi in the entire world, which is oh, Rotha. Yeah. The thing is, what happened after that, and a <laughs> fun story here, they even had a little, you know, beef in our YouTube comment section, Fabs. What? <laughs> Someone pointed You're that out. You're on the comments? So, what happened is Linkway uploaded the set, which he can, of course. I mean, we always encourage people to create content and stuff like that. So, Linkway did the only right thing, and that is uploading his Rips Arena set to YouTube. But let me tell you this, Fabs. Rotha, he wasn't happy about that, bro. He wasn't. What did he do? What did he say? <laughs> he was pissed. He was so Dude. pissed. But the fun thing is, you guys know that our matchmaking system, it is basically automated via a bot system, right? Where the Discord bot checks the time schedule of every specific player and then matches them accordingly. And today, Linkway and Rotha, they both signed up for the early spot. And oh, man. <laughs> yes, oh, they got man. matched again. So our Discord bot actually generated the rematch for everyone out there today we are gonna settle it once and for all who's the superior player linkway and his incredible sub-zero or can rotha aka quanit make it tonight gonna be interesting but that's still there's more fabs mk javier versus faisal panther showdown mm. two elite players Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I mean, low maker mirror, maybe, or Lopian against whatever Vizal is rocking. And Lady Elmo, she said she, I think Lady Elmo enjoys what we like, what she Ugh. saw earlier. I'm not gonna lie. Last beautiful, but not beautiful. Least, Subby is back versus a debut fight here for the first time. Ooh. Camo get. I hope I say that right. I okay. And oh, yeah, this is gonna be a saucy game, by the way. You know, Havoc has like 50% combos and 40% setups with uh, Janet. Like this How cameo makes havoc low key havoc like come. not Wait, really? bottom tier. Maybe like maybe like mid tier. Maybe like mid tier. Is there <laughs> some secret sauce here? Okay, Chameleon yeah. and 
Janet as cameo picks. Kind of like surprise here in the beginning. I expected Goro as well. I still think Goro is the optimal cameo. And look at this, your dash off trap. He didn't even press any button before that. Boki is known for being that player that everyone says he plays by instinct. Ooh, immediate punish. There we go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is gonna be beautiful. Set up. Looking for that hit confirm. If he hits the blood ball, one of those blood balls into Janet's gonna be huge damage, by the way. The zoning war. Like I was saying before, oh, this is so cheap. Look at this. <laughs> he just has to hold it. And that's boss box as well. The thing is, have just like Chameleon, Janet offers quite a lot of utility as well to these characters, right? Yeah, a lot. Poke special is like minus six if, uh, if, if it gets blocked, you know? And the restand on the poke on, on, on that uh, nut punch from Janet is it gives you so many. It's like, it's like almost MKX Johnny Cage, just you can do whatever you want, basically. Oh, I'm ring right through it, looking for that overhead. But slightly mistimed that, and that means Anas takes the first round. And I don't even know why, perhaps. We are sitting here on a level four hype track with the community in match number one. I see what you guys are doing out there. Thank you so much. I think I know why, honestly. Wait, you get throw combos from this? Let me find out you got throw combos from this. Okay, he doesn't get throw combos from that. Disappointed. Only, only Johnny Cage gets that. Nice, yeah, that side switch. Kind of sweaty. Oh, the mix. Yep, the good old Kung Lao BNB. Oh, he just armors through it. I love it. <laughs> that armor has like 50 hits. Why not? There we go. The only option you have against is either you hit Janet twice or you can jump over. And I think jumping over is what exactly Anna's wants you to do. Oh, post oh, special from Boki. Okay. Good block on that overhead, but still not your turn, my friend. That's going to do it. Very, very even match so far. You know, Boki playing risky with the armor, but the thing is, there's no risk in throwing the armor because it's literally safe and block. So. Ooh. Again, if that was Goro, you'd be eating 33%. Oh, and Go here combo. comes Boki now. Oh. He gets throw combos. His strike throw becomes even scarier now because, like, you gotta hold the mix. Or, oh, wait, what is this? 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 Goes for the setup. Oh, wait, was that an input error for oh, He still dude, got the trade good. somehow. He dropped it though. I think he was gonna go for a crazy setup right there, but he dropped it. Ow. That arm hurts so much. Oh, this is literally going to the wire, man. He blocks it. He it. My product split. Oh, I think I know that wait, is. Wait, no, wait, wait. No, this is, this is oh. a different kind of toxic. This, this last, these last seven seconds were so crazy. You had Boki micro-ducking on minus six after his armor. You have Anna's waking up Fatal like it's MK11 again. This is just, just... <laughs> no, I literally, I would have left the lobby after this. I would go to Goro. That's what I would do. Pick my Goro and, and get my plus frames. And Anna's, he's even in the chat saying, wake up Fatal Blow. <laughs> Anas, you are a straight up demon for this. Everyone out there, I think today is going to be a hilarious stream for all MK1 fans out there. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for tuning in because today it is actually Wix Arena featuring my new co-commentator. It is Baltz. That is Fab's new nickname whenever he is wearing that bald cap. Thank you for the support, the generosity and for just sticking around. Dark Cotton Colony. So I'm sure they're enjoying this. I'm sure they're having so much fun watching this. The one thing we have in common. Only we would do this. Like why? Why? Why are we um, humiliating ourselves? That is right, folks. We are literally sacrificing ourselves on a daily basis here for the community, so they have something to laugh at. Oh, that hurts. You twenty-two percent. I think something we need to see is that once Havoc gets to hit into like an unblockable setup, you're gonna see the, the sauce with that Janet can give you, by the way. That's what I'm hoping for. Oops! This chat is. Oh man. Look at the mix. Look at Anna's now in the blender over there in the corner. Yeah, so hold more. Oh, wait, no way he said I'm not holding, I'm mashing. Oh, wait, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Rip. 
Unless both Wait. the armors, which I think he will. No, he doesn't. Oh, yeah, and GG. he can cut. Oh, he has all the time in the world. I think that's the second time that Anna wants to go for like maybe the double, like not the double, but the the sun double stance. But he just sits down and stays there. But this is gonna kill, yeah. Even generally speaking, Anna's have a, uh, have a you man uh, you mess. I can't even mention talk with that freaking way. You mentioned it no, in the beginning of the stream. He might be one of the strongest Havocs we have in the league. Yeah, I mean, in general, man, you, you don't see people playing Havoc this often and this optimally out there, you know? <laughs> the chat is saying you got hair in your mouth. That's exactly what happened. I'm sorry, chat. <laughs> Pretty sure Boki can combo uh, from that armor if he has the Melina side available. I think the timing is kind of messing him up a little over juggles, baby. Right to armor, oh. didn't work out. Yeah, the timing on the with the invisibility frames of the armor and this of that reversal is kind of difficult to stuff. You can't see the Boki right the no, he is saying it is never your turn, my friend. I'm just gonna mix wow. and then armor right after. I swear, uh, Boki is one of those players that makes you question when should I take my turn without getting hit? Oh, this is gonna be crazy. And us. The boy's cooking something. All right, armor from Boki to avoid the... Oh, he cannot. Let me see the stance. Let me see the stance. Again, he couldn't see the stance on again. Did it now? Oh, man. That was going to hit you for 50. <laughs> Beautiful what? entire. Can't get the punish on this one. What happened? Oh, wow, wow. The good old overhead into Fatal. The Sub-Zero special from MK11 back haunting us here. But even after this, uh, we still have Anna's in a very, very decent position, in my opinion. Who's next? Both of them. Technically, he's getting one launch. He's going to go for the mix, isn't he? Yo, careful mix. Ooh. So there was so more than close. Didn't have enough HP left, and that means Boki tying this entire match up. 1-1. Oh, wow, 30% health against Kung Lao when you have nothing. It's just he's gonna mix you. Like every every hit makes you scared to suppress, man. It's it's crazy. This is a beautiful match, not gonna lie. Boki versus Anas, I think that's even the first time I see those two playing each other, at least here in the arena. Yeah, you might be right. I've never seen them uh, match up against each other before. This is 1-1? One, one? Oh, this, this side is gonna take your time. This side is gonna be... I feel like today might be the longest arena day ever, just because we have this. Yeah, it, it might be, it might be. Alright, let's go. Game number three. Oh, they confirm. Show me the sauce. Show me the sauce. There it is. Set up. There we go. He costs on double now. Oh, he dropped it. Very Wait, sandwich. Wait, was it a sandwich. setup, Pep? I mean, this is proof that having a puppet is still kind of new to a lot of people. Unless you're playing Tenchi since like forever. But yeah, still kind of tricky to do it. Nice respect from Anna's. Doesn't need to take much help. Just, just one BNB and he can do it. Anna's going crazy. Boki back against the wall. Needs to get out of that corner. Fight. See that? Minus six and uh, Anna's is respecting Boki. Even though it's technically Anna's is turned, but Boki is such as that player. He makes you terrified to press. <laughs> Everyone is so afraid to take the turn back versus Boki. Is it? Like, you're not playing Kung Lao, you're playing Boki, bro. That's how it goes. That almost got punished. Ow. Oh, DLC strings. Literally, DLC strings. What am I watching? Don't get hit. Like, this team of Havoc, it's so. Like, I don't want to get hit against them, you know? It's crazy. Missed the throw combo. Frames. Oh, kicks are out. Now, in the neutral, you see how scared, like, both of them are so scared to press against each other. There we go, both he's having life lead, he can do what he does best. That was the shimmy, but Boki didn't confirm it, but now this one works out. 
The spacing from Boki, even after sweep, he has everything under control. He knows that you cannot press. He's gonna come back. Nice way to trade, but the wake up. Ooh, wake up jump. Haunting us forever. Lady Elmo, thank you so much for another gifted sub to the community. Thank you so much for the generosity, everybody. That was a DLC move. I've never seen that drop kick in my life. Oh, that was nice. Even got the time for the little dash up needed. 20%. Not much damage. I'm not seeing very big burgers from these two yet. Oh, I might have just cursed him. Still 60 seconds left, but I don't think it's going to go timer. They're going to about like destroy each other right now. Boki has to play offensive and he's going to mix what he does best. <laughs> what he does best. With rep, no punish on this. Fatal available, so gotta be careful with the overhead and the opening. Confirm, and that is game number three. Are we gonna see, um, maybe, maybe, maybe. Do you think Goro's coming out? Yeah, we might see the Goro switch, you know. We might see the Goro switch right here. Fuenas taking the lead in the set, 2-1. And I see my boy Aztec in the chat oh. saying, my bald brother. I'm pretty sure know. that Aztec is talking to you at this point, Fabs. Just show him, just show him. Yeah. Hi, hi, Aztec. Nice to see you, bro. Hope you're doing good, by the way. Hope you're doing I only amazing. see one bald person here today. And that's definitely not me, chat. Not me. Fabs, you're looking hi, gorgeous, Aztec. though. I have to say that. Gorgeous. <laughs> I'm and Aztec is like, what the hell is happening here? <laughs> <laughs> ah, anyways. The tea house. What if Liu Kang sent peacekeepers to Saito? Occupation is also oppression, Earthrealmer. Alright, game is number four. We have uh, Anna's on match four, and Boki sticks with the chameleon. I feel like he wants to make this happen. Perhaps do you smell it as well, though? This is game five's potential. It might be, it might be. Don't be sticky. Oh, this is... How did he hit that? This is so crazy. A back forward too. Ooh, we got whip punishes like this. Might be game five. I'm just going game five. Boki, 110% of pure pressure. Ball roll, pink. No, okay, nice. And his health, like, he got hit by like three things so far. Oh, this might be the comeback city, unless Boki just armors and, and doesn't care. Ooh, the projectile trade. If Anna's had more health, that could have been like how the comeback starts. Round two, fight. Boki's neutral is so good. Dashing up after the block poke, because he knew that. Uh, Ed is gonna backdash. Nice, nice awareness, honestly. I love this. Big City, oh. there it is. Back to back openings. Nice. Oh, that block. The reward. Oh my god. Wait. Nice. You better block that because that was gonna keep going for like 10 seconds. Like I said, man, this smells like a game five unless Anna just goes beast mode right now. Nothing. I don't even know how he can bring this back. Let's take a look. One conversion in the uh, boom. That nice block. That was a good block. Wait, wait, wait. I have no meter to continue. No. Oh, rip. Commentators. The magic comeback here from Anna. And I'm not even sure. I think Boki could have killed there, right? Uh, did he amplify his up kick? Did he have meter? I didn't pay attention. I think he I'm could have amplified that. Sure as well. Nuji is saying he didn't have the resources for it? Okay. Didn't have the meter? Wow, I'm seeing two bars on both. Did he just gain these two bars by getting hit? <laughs> wow. Well, you're giving Anna the chance? Oh, that's tough. There we go. No breaker. Now it's party time for Anna. Oh, Anna. Oh, it's party time. The boy's going in. It's party Jedi time, well. Look at this. What the? But still, bro, all of a sudden, Boki is in trouble, Fabs. Good block on that overhead. Clutch factor, Boki. Oh. <laughs> it's toes. It's toe clipper. 
and us just slapped him right out of the skies and that means first round officially in the books ggs very set going to Anna's. you do you, you, you like this i love to see um bogey now with goro feels like like what reality is this you know but uh nice nice i like the loud chameleon though looking good looking good this is just this is just insane and we mentioned it this is only the appetizer chat it's time for the main event the people want to see it i want to see it and fabs wants to see it as well it's time for the rematch everyone Linkway versus Rotha. Yes, they got matched again. This might be a little beef set here in front of our eyes. It's they played each coming. other a few days ago. Linkway won the set, uploaded it to YouTube, and Rotha, he was mad about it. So today, we're gonna settle it once and for all. Who is gonna take it? I can't wait for it. Linkway, phenomenal Sub Zero player, super entertaining to watch, but so is Rotha Fabs. Who do you have? Um, uh, not gonna lie, man. The Quan Chi stocks have been growing up lately a lot. I feel like is Lin Kuei ready for this optimized, super optimized Quan Chi Janet? Is he ready for this? The last time he was. Let's find out if he can do it again, chat. Welcome to the arena, and now it's time to cook. Now, like when Rother is mad at you when he practices for you, he's probably glad in this all day. We got combo two slide. You know what, Lin Kuei, go ahead. Sorry for not being This man is ready. Probably left Quan Chi here before the stream started as well. This man wants to send a statement to Yo, Rother. Rother trying to poke, but we got dice cakes in this house. And Lin Kuei might be close to getting that first round. <laughs> no. Phelps, I smell some tea bags tonight. Oh, wait. Oh, we tried to fan lift, I think. Rother has you in the corner. Oh, man, start praying. Janet set up. Good we poke, great awareness from Link Wei. Yeah, I think I have to do like a mid with Janet in there. What is this interaction with? What's going on? So many portals, I'm confused. What the hell is that combo even? Portal still me, active. Oh. Microduck oh. Link Wei with a crazy read on that throw. Yeah, Round you gotta two. put a mid on that. Fight. Put a mid on this man. Put a mid on that man. Oh man. Opening, Rotha. Melina available? He just jumps out. Maybe you're just him. And Rotha probably hates whenever people play disrespectful and jump and mash and whatever. He hates it. So like those packs are loading up, bro. Just, just be, be ready for them. And let this throw into full screen presence. No! Rotha! So you can do a tentacle. Pet them full screen into a Janet. To like literally keep you full screen and checkmate around it drops again janet oh he dropped it i'm jinxing i'm sorry we got silences it gave footsies but quiet perhaps th this match is already intense brother can you no. feel the pressure oh, i'm going through it yes there it is guys i'm gonna give you a quick advice Go lab your combos whenever Quan Chi's armor on because you can hit him for like 50%. He's just micro deck after uh, the dive game. Link Wei. Jill is ready for you. Spends it. Understandable. Wants to squeeze out all the damage he can. He said understandable. This might be like 30 nothing percent. Wait, actually, a lot of damage. Hold on. I know it's some. <laughs> 20, 22 hits. 38 percent. What sub zero is this? Rotha just oh, did yes. it. Wait, the Janet extension. I completely forgot about that. And there is the sky drop. Rotha, he go, doesn't go for the brute because he wants the tea bags. First, I don't even know what to say. And this is just round number one. I told you this man is going to brutal and I mean, uh, bag him every single time. Like, you don't want to piss off Rotha, man. You know what the worst thing is, though? This is such a highly requested set, you know? I'm pretty sure that a lot of people, especially over there on YouTube, are gonna enjoy it. The only problem is, Fabs, um, we look like this today. That's and what I'm saying. We have, like, three thumbnail sets right now. We just had Boki and Anna's. We have Beef Set from Rotor. We have 
Five thou and Javier as well. Like we are cooked. Everyone's gonna come in here and be like, oh, this is what he said. Perhaps I think it's, it's officially over for us. Like literally, and entire career cooked down the drain. You know, this is gonna be the last arena stream ever. Someone just made him look like Guan Chi. <laughs> 1-0, Rotha, sending a statement, but Linkway, he looks ready. This is not over. Oh, man. Oh, man. Into a portal? You can't take a turn now. Maybe you can. Even if you blocked that, he could have just fan lifted it out. The thing about Linkway, I just noticed. This man does not stop jumping and does not stop progressing. <laughs> he tried to... <laughs> Every single time, Rother blocked those last kicks. Lin Kuei did not block. He was either jumping or micro dashing. Oh, and all the strike throw. Yes, you don't only have to be afraid of the mix. We have some throw options on top of that. No, wait, 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 wait. This is forty. Here, oh. Off of a is that off of a projectile? Wait, that is, that is a lot of damage. And those are a lot of subscriptions from Bloody Tomato. I didn't give it from Bloody Tomato and Rothor just did something crazy as well. This is amazing. You guys over there in the chat, you are way too kind. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for the support and the generosity. Hope you enjoyed the show so far. This is Wix Arena and this is Rotha and Linkway. Thanks for the here. This, yo, that burger was Pretty swaggy, low damage. The sub zero, no overhead for you, sir. We are having, we were teleporting out. Dude, this is so wild. They haven't blocked on wake up once. Oh, wait. Again, we don't block on wake up in this house. This is MK Fest. Uh, maybe you forgot about that. We don't block in this game. We press wait. buttons. Lin is not blocking. Again, he doesn't block. That's four situations in a row. He's just like, I want to do Rotha? what I want to do. Rotha, don't oh. do it again. Oh. Rotha. Oh. Okay. No teabags this time. Rotha taking the lead. He wants that sweet fast. This is how I know they hate each other because they're not blocking. They're not holding anything. It's just disrespect after disrespect. And armor after armor is crazy. Anyways. Wigs Arena and Balds here, you know, <laughs> commentating for your entertainment. Bringing I mean, you the sweatiest sets of Europe and, and America and Middle East definitely. and everything, you know? I mean, for everyone who potentially just tuned in, we have more than 500 people in the crowd right now. We are watching Rotha versus Lin Kuei. And if you guys think this is already too crazy, after this, MK Javier versus Faisal. Yes, you're reading that right. Oh, yeah. After this, there's still more. It doesn't stop. The sweat is not even done yet. I think that's it. Anyway, Mr. Burger. Oh, that is no, a clean, nice. but it was a little setup, but managed to basically push through it. Arm is still available, yes. Anyway, is not ready for this. Even drop the combo just goes for the overhead. Armor again saving Rotha, but that is all calculated. Drop the ender though. Linkway not blocking on wake up. He needs to press that block Show button. First one to Brand stop two. mashing gets a hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> These guys are they're not stopping. That guy's are mashing and artery everything. R2. Ooh. At the pressure now. Oh Rotha has to hold this. Or not? Just armor him. Why not? Yep, that leap couldn't save him. Rotha able to press buttons in time. Standing four is so useful. He read that so Set well. Up. That was a punish. What am I not? Rotha might have like the swaggiest combos in the in the scene right now with this Quan Chi. No. <laughs> Is, like Fabs, is this intentional what Rotha is doing? This yes, is unbelievable. Sure. He has his armor on him. The portal is giving him armor, so he knows that his turn will still keep going. And Lin Kuei only presses R2 when he wants to armor as well. He doesn't really want to respect the setup. So. Fabs, I have a bad feeling. Fabs, I have a bad feeling right now. Finish. Rotha. Wait, he is starting slow. It's getting quick. Oh. <laughs> Not like this. What a freaking engine, set that was. <laughs> 
Oh, this 3-0 might have settled the beef, I guess. I think this 3-0 might have settled it. On a side note, I, I have to say I'm a big, big fan of both players. I honestly love the way Linkway plays Sub-Zero in such an offensive way, right? Super, super strong when he can get his offense started. But of course, today, Rotha was ready. Truly, Rotha always... I mean, showing why he's uh, he's just the GOAT sometimes, you know? Oh, I just checked my phone <laughs> oh, and some fuck. notifications. Oh, I got it as well. NRS Esports Please. just retweeted us with this. Wait, did they actually retweet? They just so the thing is, Fabs and I, we were hoping that NRS Esports, the official NRS account, don't see our go live notification on Twitter today because, you know, be because of that. I think we don't have to talk about it anymore. But apparently, NRS Esports, they, they found the tweet, Fabs, and now we are honestly cooked. You know what? We have to go to the lineup scene real quick. We are not allowed to show our cameras anymore. Coming up next, ladies and gents, it. MK Javier versus Faisal. And that is another certified Ooh, banger, so in my opinion. This is going to be so good. I'm not going to lie. These two have been playing each other so often lately like uh, to the point where javier doesn't even main scorpion anymore i feel like javier is playing so many characters this is what faisal does to you he makes you want to pick up a bunch of characters and i think javier might be on the peacemaker <clears throat> train do you so, think this is going to be a peacemaker mirror let me say by his words a low maker mirror this is what faisal calls him <laughs> low maker low maker time Chat, <laughs> let's take a look at our prediction. Who do you guys have? A big thank you to Lady Elmo for providing another prediction here for the community. And it's a close one. That's what I expected, seeing those two mm -hmm. names on the card. Basically a 50-50. Yeah, this is this is as close as you can get because these guys are... I, I, I wouldn't say... I mean, I wouldn't say equally as strong because, like, I'm not going to lie. I think Javi... I mean, I think, I think Faisal is going to qualify Final Combat as well. So that, that, that's a level of players we have right here. Lee May... You almost oh, have my heart. Lee Mei Jenny? Wait, what is this matchup? Bless my eyes. You are no, this is a matchup I think um, no fine. one here on Twitch no and system. no one on YouTube expected. Round what, 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 what? what is happening? <laughs> Fabs, is this a new era? Oh. Excuse me, I was not familiar with your game. Let's get the pressure. He just escaped the bulky mix. With the with the with the ten lift by the way. Oh, they should have never gave Javier this this character. <laughs> Javier playing in Lao Goro. Yo, I might I might have to see what this is what I'm saying. He's playing characters that I've never seen play before. Faisal is the tech cheat out, it's crazy. This is such an entertaining qualifier so far. So many phenomenal matchups, so many great players on the card after this. Sabi is right here in the arena tonight as well. Yo, he saw that the first hit of that made it with and he up blocked the overhead. First time I've seen in my life. Even though Faisal lost that round, he just the, the first time I ever see someone cross block, I mean, uh, up block that mix. Yeah, crazy. K Max saw that as well. That was insane. Only on whip, only on whip. Oh, and Javier is going to be annoying because you know how his Scorpion uh, Striker used to like literally armor everything? Lao Goro pretty much gives you that, but you're plus happy. Oh, oh the mix. Look at MK Javier. He's playing a, a certain type of rushdown that's so annoying as well. I want to say, I, I don't want to say just like the Scorpion does, but like. They really gave him a, a character that is so annoying. It, feels, you know, it honestly feels like MK Javier, he can never make it right. If he plays defensive, everyone complains. If he uses a very offensive character, he's always up there in your face. People are not happy as well. This like, is... give him some I rest. never expected him to play like a, a rushdown character, but he plays Lao in just the most... In the way that you would expect him to play Lao, you know, like mix you like every... Like, it's crazy. I love it. I love it. MK Javier showing us what that Kung Lao can do. And here, since we're in the character select screen, once again, thank you, every single one out here today, for the incredible support. Thank you so much for having our back, for subscribing, the gifted subscriptions, donations, you name it. You guys are honestly saving the entire competitive MK1 scene at this point. And Fabs and I, we will be forever grateful for that. Thank you.
Very grateful. You guys are amazing. And just like, I mean, this is why we're here. You know, this is why we're here consistently to show them our appreciation. As well. like, why, why would we not be here every day? Is, is that Shangling a ding dong I see? I thought I was just freestyling right now. Like, what is this? What's going on? I regret not having you I really likes Chameleon. I just realized he loves that cameo. This guy plays every character with Chameleon at this point now. He mains Chameleon. He doesn't main anyone anyway. He's just Chameleon. Faisal. Leave. Oh, no punish on that dive kick. That's yeah, gonna... Missing out on damage is the Shanks and players. And now what you want to do? <laughs> all these folks here from both of them. Uh, Goro getting clapped. And the awareness from Javier. He knows that he has to constantly look out. I think Chameleon also applies a mental stack in your opponent's head because they have to look at your cameo every single, like, what, three seconds maybe? From two, actually. Why not? Now here comes Faisal, morphing right into love. Oh, became him. Yo, give me a throw combo into Ben Lift. Never mind. Oh, Darmus, Darmus. That's the most loud thing ever, by the way. That's the most loud thing ever. Just, just both arming at the same time. Fabs, do you know what I just realized, by the way? Since uh, we posted our Go Live notification on Twitter, right? I wrote in the comments, NRS, please don't retweet this. And they literally liked that particular post and then retweeted it. <laughs> you can't do this. Oh. You can't do this. I'm having fun. Oh, that's, that's all that matters. Oh, Baisal having way too much fun in controlling uh, his loud. He might actually loud mirror him after. I wouldn't be surprised. Good throw. MK Javier. Can he take the second round as well? Yeah. All those projectiles, all that. Oh, he dropped it. That was a very, very oh, crucial so drop here on Javier's end. Has to pay the price Faisal, for it. Faisal could have just done string into Fatal, but he's like, no, I'm going to sweat this combo out. I have ground scrolls. I have execution. He just does it. He's flexing on us for no reason. Oh man, the, the depth is. The, there's so much going on here that I can't keep up with. So yeah, Fenlip gives pretty much safe armor to a lot of people in this cast. It's a quick getaway tool. Glaive? No Glaive. He's gonna go for the sweaty combo, isn't he? Oh, this is a, this is a burger, and this is a brute right on top here. Yeah. Faisal arriving on the scoreboard. Brutality. One one. That force field is gonna <laughs> come in clutch, and Faisal already in the chat complaining about Peacemaker, saying, "Oh no." Magic doesn't care. Why I, oh no, because this matchup sounds horrible on paper, man. This sounds horrible on paper. But don't forget it, Fabs. Matchups don't matter when Faisal is behind the controller. There was a clip that recently went viral of uh, King Kiza playing Peacemaker. Yes. So, so, that video has 4.4 million views on Twitter, by the way. People are going crazy uh, on Peacemaker. Yeah, look at uh, the rushdown from Shang Tsung. <laughs> this is all he has to do the whole game. Just walk forward. That force field basically shuts down the entire game plan. Taking Eagle out. Is he going to cool down? Probably not. Force field. Eagle. Eagle. Eagle is back and forth. Turn? No, Eagly. No, Striker. Oh, Torpedo. Eagly. It's tough. Torpedo. <laughs> what is this? Smash traps. <laughs> he has to, he has to catch him. He has to catch him. But how do you Torpedo. catch Lowmaker? You can't. Oh, man. Center mass. Can we address the fact that Javier plays a character and he just calls him low for no reason, even though the characters are busted? Punishing a whiff poke, and we have uh, what does Faisal have for me here? Oh, he became him, but Torpedo is here. He's gonna do <laughs> force field. This is beautiful. This is beautiful, man. Punish that. 
Chad, am I allowed to say this is one of the ugliest matches oh, I've watched in a while? Eagle. Eagle. just realized he can just become him. Can you just play that? <laughs> we have combos. We have combos. Yo, yo, he just became him. This is so funny, bro. <laughs> Final round. Fight. Eagle. There's only better. Full screen. Eagle. Gets punished for morphing. This can hurt. Oh my god. Oh, wake up, Melina Ball Roll. Not here. Not in this house. Sorry. Faisal is trying to swap. Oh, there we go. Okay, I think it's a free swap from this. There we go. Don't do This is MK11 all over again. MK Javier. 2 1. We are on match point. Torpedo. <laughs> Brutality. Let's see. Batman Perhaps let me let me say it like that. We are witnessing wins. some intense MK1 gaming tonight. Oh yeah, for sure. Not only that, but this is about to be a peacemaker mirror. So be ready for that. Be ready for that. But if I saw it right in the previous character select screen, I think Faisal is random selecting. I think he got Shang Tsung via random select. Is that what he did? Yeah, let's take a look at it again. Don't tell me he's gonna go random select again versus FK Javier. Peacemaker. Booyah! Peacemaker. I'm game. No, <laughs> there we go. Yeah. 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 He wants this to prove cool. a point now. He is saying, let me show you who the superior Peacemaker you actually is. Iron, you lose that puffy middle. Puffy like, you middle. dare pick my low maker? Oh, watch this. I can already imagine Faisal talking to him. Talk. <laughs> my low maker against me. Oh, oh. Oh, you do it anti gravity stuff as well? <laughs> this is so ugly, chat. <laughs> Double eagle. Oh, this is beautiful. In a bad way. It, 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 it's beautiful in a way that I, I, I just can't believe this matchup is real. This character is not real. It, it can't be. You can't punish it. This, 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 is, this is torpedoes force all over field. the place. <laughs> Double force field. How do we commentate this? Eagle. Yeah, the striker just interrupted the force field and the force field ran out in the exact frame. That was crazy. Perhaps honestly, our, our career is over after this. Too much going wrong here. Force field. There we go, force field. Oh, he got him! Oh, oh. There was no recovery on that. And that was an insane punish as well. That was single button into fatal blow to avoid the striker grenade. Huh? Like, hello? That was insane. That means Javier is officially on match point versus Faisal. Final chat prediction, Round by the way, straight up 50 50. Right. Torpedo. <laughs> oh, how did they not trade? Torpedo is so strong, it doesn't even Sonic trade. It's just whoever did a first win. <laughs> you call him Broke Maker? What's this? You can't, flop, you can't up block that. You cannot up block that. That wasn't even a whip punish. How, I was just trying to press something. Oh, it traded it again. Do it again. Babs, what is this? Do it again. Do it again. Back to him. Go. Oh, wait. Is this striker going to hit him? No striker available. And he dies. What? I'm literally speechless. I don't even know what to say anymore. And you know what's even crazier, Fabs? That we have close to 600 people in the chat watching this shit. <laughs> Guys, oh, is, is there literally no other MK1 content creator live right now you can watch? This is one of those clips that's gonna get like 4 million just again being like, MK is so bad, guys. Watch this. What are you actually <laughs> doing here? Are we the only MK1 streamer live right now? Ah, uh, please. Go away, chat. Please. Please. The torpedoes is like in my, in my brain. Like the Joker's like freaking <laughs> torturing me right now. Oh boy, oh boy, what is this? If that wasn't it, we might get a game five. Unless, <laughs> unless Hydra gets the last hit. <laughs> Wait, the last hit! Eat peace, motherfucker! Oh man, I am so happy. Peacemaker wins. That is just unbelievable. Faisal defeated MK Javier's Lowmaker was a little bit stronger today.
I love this. I'm honestly speechless, chat. And I hope you know what that means, Fabs. It's time for our final set of the night. Sabi, she Sabi. is back. The rain goddess. And she has to fight a literal debut fighter today, Kamo Get. I hope I say that right. Can't wait for it. I have absolutely no idea which characters uh, or which character we're going to see from Kamo. I expect rain from Sabi, maybe even Kitana. But uh, what do you think, Fabs? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, I think, is this a person that is called Pulse Gaming YT in the chat that he joined and said something about it? Maybe. Uh, but yeah, definitely going to see uh, maybe a Katana. Who knows? But Rain. We, I need Subby's Rain. I haven't seen Rain in a while. Subby should bless us. But now, um, what character should we expect? Did, he not, did they not put what character they were going to play when they signed up? Uh, is that I like think not a thing? they did, but I haven't checked it before the stream, honestly. So oh. it, it's a big surprise for me. 91% of the community right now think that Sabi is going to win this match. On my bike, thank you so much for the resubscription. Hope you guys enjoy the show. Welcome to the most unprofessional MK1 event, as always. 500 people in the chat with us, watching absolute madness. Alright, perfect way to end the stream. With a debut, and um, I see L Raiden, Lopin, what, 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 Subby, what do you have in your hands right now? Since when is Subby playing great? <clears throat> Subby? Great. I see Scorpion, okay. It's a Lopin Chameleon. Okay, okay, okay. Sub -Zero. The community support today is straight through the roof. That's Nikitas, thank you so much for the gifted sub here on this channel. You guys are way too kind out there. Thank you. It's a lovely day. It's a lovely day to have a good day. And let's go. This Final is set one of, of the, the one of the most hilarious events ever, fans. I, I enjoy the hell out of it. And that Peacemaker or sequence had my brain like about to explode. I love it. Oh, Camo God is doing some nice. He knows how to play this. Oh, he knows. This. So that sequence with J-Glyph and teleport, I don't think you can avoid it. Oh, the read. He even knows the gaps with Katana? Just like that? We have a fellow Lopian Warlord in our hands here. Pick up. Uh, that was a nice conversion from Subby. Yo, risky yo, stuff, but yo, got away yo. with it. That was so saucy. That was so saucy. Wow. Off of a Hellfire, the little Hellfire move? That was good. Oh. It doesn't matter though, because you are dead. Subby, that's it. First round. You will learn respect. Round two. Fight. Low Hellfire fan list into teleport and combos. I didn't know that. The more you learn, Scorpion, the more you learn. Beautiful stuff. Fabs, what do you think about this matchup in general? Have me mouse you. I have no idea. I have no idea. <laughs> I, like, I have no answer. idea. Like, this is, I've never seen this on my screen in my life. Like, Katana Sub Zero and Scorpion Chameleon. I have no idea, man. That was a trade combo. That, yeah, that was a trade combo. Wow. Yo, Camo God has some sick combos, man. What in the combo world am I watching today? Punish Good that. From Sabi, can't get the punish in time. But that rip punish. punish coming in clutch, Fabs. Kitana does have, uh, I, I wouldn't say priority, but her threat in neutral up close when it comes to like these mid range buttons definitely has a slight edge over Scorpion. Oh, that was gonna be crazy. Mids, check. You do not want to get micro duck by grabbing right now. Eh, by any chance, bro. Don't mash, don't grab. She grabs! Still alive. Oh, that was beautiful. That was a piece of art right there. Camogat, what the hell was that? Yeah, reminder, uh, that Melina Sai from Community is one of the fastest ambush camis in the whole game. And you can also use it defensively for screen control, not just for your combos. So, wow. 
Fabs, my question to you. Where are these guys coming from? Like, literally, this is a debut fight. Why are they playing on that level? It's gonna be like a factory of sweaty players out there being made that I've not, I've not been, like, uh, uh, contacted about. <laughs> like, I swear what? to God, once that King of the Hill crossplay drops and we get all the Xbox players as well, it's gonna be a wild ride for everyone. Oh, the movement check was a 2-1 string. Ooh, 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 combo Warlord. What do we got here? I think he's gonna go into Jade. Yeah, Oki. This is, this is insane. Look Yo, at the boy Hellfire, Benlip, I'm still going. Yo, he is still Help going, Fabs. Who can stop this scorpion? What are these debuts? I'm, I don't know what to say. Like, honestly. This is, this is Camugat's arena at this point. My job might be hashtag on a voice. No one in the chat can believe what they are witnessing today. Yeah, that is that is the power of uh, Wix Arena and my new co-commentator here, Bolts, next to me. Thank you guys that so much me. for watching. Rain. Perhaps should we, should we stream like that more often? What do you think? Come chat, you tell me. YouTube, YouTube right. like comments and chat, you guys let us know if you guys want to see it more often. Perhaps I'd be down to make like a, a monthly or weekly special. Perhaps I, I think we both know the YouTube comments are going to be ruthless, brother. Ruthless. I hope they're nice. I hope <laughs> they are, I they're, they're not nice. gonna be nice. Lady Elmo, thank you so much for another gifted two extra. I did promise I was gonna have a ball cap when I'm back. So I'm not gonna lie to you guys, you know, and disappoint you. I have to, I have to. The funny part is I when I arrived in Lisbon, I got a haircut first thing. I can't even show it out. It's cause ball cap. Wait, and this guy's level 44? I just realized. Rip, Heidi check. Who is this man? This has to be Heidi. Like, that level, Fabs? That gameplay? Yo, he's picking up. Oh, what is going on? I'm reading his name backwards to see if maybe, like, there's a hidden message or something. Oh, the mix! You might be hashtag, uh, you dropped the combo. <gasps> that is good. Once again, Camel with the clutch here at the. Wait, can't finish, but there it is. So clutch. He's so clutch. Round two. Fight. Mr. Scorpion. <laughs> yeah, Chameleon is so, like, so, so chaotic and neutral. The reset. Sweet. Oh, that is nasty. Stop. Sheeps in a row. This can't be Javier. Javier doesn't do three sheeps in a row. He grabs you three times in a row. I studied that man. Back and forth. <laughs> oh! Finish him. Fabs, what? Can you please explain to me what's happening today? Can we get some ales in the chat for absolutely no reason? Like, can you guys go crazy real quick? This is one of the most outstanding qualifiers in a long time. Yo, Welcome to the arena chat. Check his ping real quick. I'm gonna find out who this is. NA or EU? Or Middle East? Okay, 124. Could that be probably EU East? Or Middle East? Or NA East as well? We have three options. Rain, three options. Scorpion, chameleon, chameleon. Who is it? <laughs> Our chat is going crazy. Thank you guys for the support. Thanks for spending time with us. Someone check what Averick is doing right now. <laughs> Someone check if Averick is online right now. Oh man. Safe. Wow. I see Balder also asking for the Haver. Check if it's Haver. Check. Check. Oh man. This is crazy. This sauce. This sauce. Okay, there we go. There we go. Finally, finally, this man becomes unpunishable, punishable, and then in one sequence. The chat honestly think this might be Averk. Yeah, I just it, it's my take, my be, my be. But like, it's kind of early in, in Canada, I think. But the ping would be uh, somewhat right, like 114. Yeah. 
Uh, it's, it's, it's like East, right? East Canada, or whatever the hell it is. He's cooking. Wow. Or he's cooking. I don't know who's behind the controller right now, but this is not a level 45 player. Oh, people have people are debunking. They say Avid sleeps a lot. Oh, man. Ooh, ooh. It's Brokey. No oh, Oki. Respect even after the poke on hit. Interesting. can never press against this man. He was like, you know what? Have you didn't play Lopian today? I will bless you guys. The thing is, I just didn't expect a performance like that. I am, I'm literally flabbergasted. Oh, he dropped on purpose. I think he wants to go Entire for a... On the cross up. No, this man is a little bit too confident in my opinion. Maybe. Sobby is done. He's like, you, you brought Aver to me? What is this? Oh, wow. Perhaps what the oh, hell was oh. that? Like, what was that? Who is this Scorpion? Every set that? today was insane. Every set today was insane. Every single set today. Absolute blockbusters. Fabs and I, we want to say thank you to every single player out there tonight for putting on a show like that. That was one of the most entertaining and craziest qualifiers we had in a long, long time. So thank you guys so much for making that possible. Even though, you know, we look like two clowns trying to host an MK event. But perhaps I have to say I had an absolute blast, brother. What about you? Me too. Me too. This is beautiful. Thank you all for playing, for participating, for watching, for interacting with us. Forget the right. everything, everything. You guys have made our, our our days are blessed with you guys here. That is true. So, as a final word, guys over there on YouTube, please don't roast us too hard. We're gonna be back tomorrow. Chat. Have a wonderful evening, wonderful day, wherever you are watching from. But now it's time for Fabs and me to go to bed. So, have a great one. Take care. Stay safe, and we're gonna catch every single one of you again.